Believe it or not, I may not look good, but I sound okay. <laughs> But believe me, even if you're ugly like me, there's still somebody out there for you. Like my wife chose me, or did I choose her? I don't know, but she's good looking and I'm not, so you do the math. <laughs> Howdy folks, TJ here. Wanted to chat and see what your opinions, what your ideas, how you operate in terms of vintage, retro, Modern retro, something that has a old-time vintage feel even. Just how you deal with the old computers. In this case, I'm going to be talking mostly about vintage computers with a few modern recreations of them, like the Specky Next. It's all, all a Specky to me, but it's a modern recreation of what it would have been if they continued making uh, Specky after the, you know, the last ones they did type of thing. So I wanted to, you know, this is going to be kind of a, a chat video and where you can post your uh, notes down below on how you attack, how you peruse, how you enjoy vintage computers. I'm going to take my camera off the tripod and just quickly kind of show you just the L part of my desk because I work out of my home and I, it's nice that I can, during a break, during lunch, I can spin this chair around, it is a swivel one, and I can enjoy 15 minutes of playing on my Specky Next, or my Aquarius, or my Atari, whatever it may be. Now some people may be a little bit more glamorous and have a real man cave or real woman cave. Uh, I think they call those she sheds, but women can have caves too, right? A woman cave, man cave, a cave that just has lots of desks, lots of real estate, lots of monitors, everything set up, ready to turn on and go. I have a dream one day that I'll get to do that. I don't foresee that in this life. <laughs> so I have to do something a little different. So I'm going to explain how I deal with owning a lot of different vintage computers. Let me quickly take the camera off the tripod and show you a little bit of what I have connected today. I'm not going to show you a back room that has lots of boxes and lots of stuff, nor am I going to chat about those much, but I want to just kind of show you, hey, this is what I currently have set up now, why, when, how, all that stuff. So let me quickly take this off. So this is my office, my home office. And I've got lots. I'm not going to show you the left side of that chair. That's my work stuff. Uh, but over here, I've got a big 40, was it a 40 inch? 42 inch? I think 42 inch 4K TV. It's the best TV we have in the house. And I have uh, connected to it lots of things. Not specifically a computer that may be in front of it, but it could be. Uh, so right now I've got within access of my fingers with a quick spin a Falcon from Atari. I have my Sword M5. This big tower is a next-gen Amiga called an Amiga 1 X5000. That's always near. Then next to it, I've got my Atari 800, my Specky Next, my Omni laptop, which is a Specky laptop. Nice big old 32-inch HP Omen HDMI monitor. My Mac Pro 2013 that just died. That son of a bitch. I have to say bastard at least once. Uh, so I'm going to have to replace that. Uh, the video card and it's uh, tripping up. So unfortunately, that's not going to do my video editing anymore. I'm going to have to come up with plan B next year. Till then, I'm going to limp by on an uh, old MacBook that I have. But next to it, I've got my Aquarius with the new Super Aquarius MX Expander. And then my old Expander there too. My Atari 800XL. And if you see dust in any of this video, I'm not going to dust for you. I barely dust for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you will see dust because, uh, yeah, it's a dusty house. And then over here, I have my Odyssey 2, my Atari 2600, an Intellivision, some doodads, and uh, even a laser disc player connected to an old 1980s CRT RCA TV. And then just quickly over here on a shelf, I've got some more Intellivision and some Aquarius and stuff like that. You've seen enough. I think I've kind of got my point across that in my direct fingertips... Let me put the camera a little bit there. Okay, cool. Uh, I have access to some computers that are near and dear to me that I want to play today. 
I'm a rotate out kind of person. I've got a lot of vintage computers, some modern, like, you know, the, uh, the next, like I have over here. But in my back bedroom, it's kind of a staging room, I've got lots of other Ataris. I've got my Sam Coupe. I've got tons of Specky. I have... All sorts of stuff in that room. A second Aquarius, some duplicates of things I have, magazines from Atari that I have. Just that room's a disaster pile, I'll admit it. Although it's a little bit more clean nowadays. I cleaned it out a number of months ago and I can actually walk in and walk out and stage things. So what does stage things mean? Well, say I want to move the Atari Falcon away from here and put something in its spot. You could see my whole desk was being utilized. I need to free up space to put something else here. So I may, for example, move my Atari uh, Falcon in the other room and put the Sam Coupe here, for example. Uh, or I may move the Sword M5 out of the way and put something of its size uh, there. Maybe my TRS MC10, TRS-80 MC10. It's about the same size. My Atari 800, well, maybe I want to put the 130 there uh, and put the, give the 800 a rest. Uh, so you can see what I do is I rotate things around. I try to use everything I own on a yearly basis. So at least get some juice to it, some use, some fun. I can't always do that. There's some box stuff that just stays in boxes forever. It's kind of a duplicate. And maybe every so often I'll take it out and spark it up. But mostly, I rotate things around. So I say, okay, you know, I've, I've used this Atari 800 for the last six months and made a lot of videos about it. Maybe it's the 400's turn. Or maybe uh, something else goes there. Maybe not an Atari, because I've got an 800XL right there. I've got two Ataris right there. So I may rotate things around. Do you do that? I find it for space constraints. I've only got so many rooms in this house and I've only got so much room to do stuff and I want to enjoy it. I don't want to just have it on a box. I'm not a collector that just collects and says I own one. I try to use them and enjoy them uh, to the fullest that I can. And with so many computers, that doesn't mean they get daily use, but my vintage computers get probably close to daily use as I can get. For surely every week I'm playing something, whether it's Atari, Aquarius. I make a lot of videos, so technically probably every day, every other day, I'm sparking something up. My next was right there. I do quite a bit on it. Anything that's specy related, it's my go-to specy. I play a quick game. Uh, I, 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 I just enjoy the next. It is that computer along with the 800 that's up in the upper echelon of computers that I own. But then at some point, I will put it underneath my desk. I've got a nice uh, tray that comes out where you can put a keyboard, and I'll slip my necks under there. And maybe I'll slip in its spot one of the Intellivisions that's over here and play with my Intellivision for the day. So I'm a swapper, a rotator, but I use everything I own or try to get electricity in everything I own and enjoy it during the year. And I would say on a daily basis, I probably do turn on some retro, some vintage, some modern retro device that I own and enjoy it. Do you do the same? I'm curious. Post down below what your regimen is on enjoying this stuff. Maybe you don't have any vintage computers and you've got emulation, which is perfectly fine. I myself just like and because I'm an old fart, I like the old gear. It just gives me that 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 feeling of yesteryear, yet that feeling of yesterday when I was a kid. And when you get older, you start m remembering some of those things, and it's a little bit more close to your heart because it's not something you just played yesterday. It's something you played decades ago, and you go, you know, I was pretty happy back then. That is a cool thing, and it brings, having that original equipment and it's still working brings something to my heart that maybe it doesn't to everybody's. Emulation is cool and all, and I enjoy it in other things, but I do like pounding on old metal, old hardware. So that's my my, my shtick, and I do make a lot of videos. Obviously, I've got a YouTube channel, so I'm always rotating things around. And I think I give a nice little assortment of this is not sickly, uh, sickly, strictly a uh, specky station. Uh, it's not an Atari only. I do also peel outside of the box and make videos once in a while that are not computer oriented. They're something to do with a hobby, whether it's camping or fishing. So my channel kind of 
has a little of everything, but mostly it's old computers because that is something that I can readily spin my chair around, turn it on, and enjoy it. Where fishing or working on an old Volkswagen going camping takes a lot of prep work and days away and outside the box and making videos of that stuff's harder. But making a video of a retro computer that's within an arm's reach is really fun. So that's how I enjoy my computers and, and I think having a YouTube channel helps me enjoy this equipment even more because I'm making videos for my own self to enjoy, to remember, and go back in a year from now and say, did I do that? I didn't write down what power supply this belonged to. I'll go back and watch a video and go, oh, it's this one. I don't plug it into the wrong device. So it's, it helps me uh, with memory that's fading over time remember what I did. And for some, I think... Uh, members of my channel. I'm almost up to 4,600. I think I'm 4550. It's going to still take a while to get to 5,000, but maybe next year, next summer, I'll be up to 5,000 channel members. Who knows? Uh, and I think there's some folks that enjoy living vicariously through me and my enjoyment of doing stuff with my old computers. I am excitable. I, I think I have a generally good stage presence in terms of making videos. I don't say um a lot. Uh, I don't say like a lot. I do periodically. Everybody does. But I think I'm typically well-spoken and I present myself well. Believe it or not, I may not look good, but I sound okay. <laughs> But believe me, even if you're ugly like me, there's still somebody out there for you. Like my wife chose me, or did I choose her? I don't know, but she's good looking and I'm not, so you do the math. <laughs> so yeah, I just love old computers. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, if you're not and you are uh, been here for a while, thanks for still watching. And uh, tell me, how are you guys involved in your old computers? Are you turning them on weekly, monthly, never? Uh, anything, just post down below. Let's make a fun chat session about this. And please post some notes down below. And thanks for watching this video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Now what game am I going to play next so I can swear some more? <laughs>